Welcome to this or that video series produced by UFIFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today we will look at two birds often confused with one another, the little blue heron and the tricolored heron. These two birds are very similar in color and body shape but have differences in their color pattern and hunting behavior. Here are a few tips to help you tell them apart. Both birds have slate blue feathers, but the little blue heron has a maroon neck and head, though not always obvious. The tricolored herons, on the other hand, have slate blue feathers on most of their bodies, except for their chest and belly, which is white. The tricolored heron also have a white stripe that runs up their neck that can contain rust-colored patches. It should also be noted that the little blue herons are white as juveniles. Looking at the coloring of bills and feet of these two birds can also help you identify them. The little blue heron has a pale blue or grayish bill with a black tip becoming bright blue during breeding. The tricolored herring's bill is gray or yellow with a black tip at the end. Its bill and lower, which is the skin around the bill, also become bright blue during breeding season. As for the legs, both of these birds have long stick-like legs with different coloring. The little blue heron has pale green to dark legs and feet, while the tricolored heron's legs and feet are greenish yellow to a deep yellow, becoming reddish during breeding. All herons go through some dramatic color changes during breeding season, and especially during courtship. The most notable changes take place on the bill, the lower, and the legs. The hunting of these two birds does vary a little bit, so watch them closely if you get the chance. The little blue heron tends to be a stand-in-wait predator. It will watch the water for their prey, which include fish and other small morsels. They will also change locations when hunting by walking slowly or flying to a new location. The tricoda heron is a more active hunter, stalking its prey, which include fish, crustaceans, reptiles, and insects. It's very easy to mistake the little blue heron from the tricolored heron, but if you look closely at the coloring of their feathers, bills, and feet, you can tell them apart. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or that series from your UF, IFAS, Pinellas County Extension Services.